Hey, Michelle, have you overindulged on anything lately? Oh my gosh, Lindsay, I just had to eat a box of cookies earlier and I'm kind of regretting it. Are you? Oh my gosh, guys, in today's episode, we're going to show you a very high level way to talk about your regrets about things that you have overindulged on, specifically food, but all their things too, and how to build connection based on saying this. Michelle, are you ready to get started? I'm ready, guys. Make sure that you hit subscribe on YouTube so you never miss any of our videos. All right, let's get into it. Hey there, Michelle. We are on YouTube today. So exciting. And the podcast. How are you doing today? I'm good. You know what? My tummy hurts a bit. I mean, I had to eat a full box of cookies, didn't I? You just had to do it, Michelle. <laughs> I just had to do it. Like what? Here's Gosh. a good question. Here's a good question. What are the, what is the type of cookie that just disarms you completely? Like oh. you cannot resist that type of cookie. What is it? Oh, well, there is a, there is a cookie. Well, there are two places near me. Now a new one just opened up. I would say your oh, classic no. chocolate chip is for certain. Chocolate chip. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. But like there are just some really, really, really good cookie places near me that are dangerous. Do they do delivery? That's really they do. dangerous. <laughs> they do. They do. Yeah. What about you? What's your favorite? I know you're an, like you're an ice cream person, and I would yeah. say that if I had to choose, I would say that I'm a cookie person, even yeah. over ice cream. Yeah, I would take ice cream over cookies any I know. day. Good ice cream with chocolate <laughs> and peanut butter. You know, you know. But if it's going to be cookies, chocolate chip too, but big, big, thick chunks of chocolate, but not soft chocolate chip cookies, the harder ones, like the crunchier kind. You know how there are soft uh, ones that taste kind of store-bought? I feel yeah, like they taste yeah, kind yeah. of, but then there's like the homemade, really good chunks, maybe some peanut butter chunks in there too. So peanut butter is clearly the, uh, peanut butter is <laughs> <laughs> overlaps. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, well guys, don't worry. I didn't actually eat a whole box of cookies though. Sometimes <laughs> I would like to, I mean, guys, but today we're going to be talking not only about cookies, but about this fun structure. So Lindsay, what did I say about the cookies? Yeah, this is interesting. This is all about emotion and emphasis, right? You said yeah. I had to eat a full box of cookies, didn't I? Right. The <laughs> I had to is what we're focusing on today. I yeah. had to, right. And it's not, was I saying like had to in the way of like something that was a task or like that I no. Really, I don't know. No, no it's, it's different. not like a work project or something, right? No. It's more like you just, well, let's say you were tempted. You, you could not resist. That's how yeah. I interpret that. Is that how you interpret it, Michelle? Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, just that, let's just go over the structure. I mean, what yeah. is it? Like, I mean, this is a fun structure that talks about personality. So it's you yeah. had to, or I had to, right. But it's yeah. not again, talking about something that was necessary for you to do. So we're going to get to that more in a second. So yes. oh, stay tuned, but guys, we want to remind tuned. you, if you, if you want to get your fluency score, yes. um, go on over to all earsenglish.com, uh, slash fluency score. That is where you can take a short quiz get your level and then get resources for your level. Yeah, that's right, Michelle. Guys, go over. It doesn't take long. As Michelle said, it's very short. It's like two minutes and you can find out where you stand compared to other students, right? Where are you and how can you get better from here? So right. good stuff, Michelle. So now let's get into it. What are we trying to show here? Okay. So, well, this is a way I think sometimes that we can show frustration or regret, right? Like, uh -huh. so I had to drink all that milk, right? Like, and now my stomach hurts or something, but you yeah. have to put the stress on hat or it doesn't work. Right. Yeah. 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 And I wonder if we can, maybe we'll talk later in this episode about like criticizing someone like, oh, you just had to finish the milk. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe that'll right. come up, come up a little bit later. Right. So, right. But, or for example, I had to buy that expensive car. I just had to buy it. I wanted it so badly. Right. But I don't think it's like, oh, I had to, like, there's the, I had to in the way of like, oh, just like, oh, I couldn't resist. But okay. I think that this is more like, oh, I had to buy that expensive car and now I'm having trouble paying my bills. Ah, right? Yeah. So we're okay. So now I understand where we're, <laughs> what we're getting at today. It's this whole mm -hmm. idea of you're kind of self-criticizing, right? And you're, it's, it's kind of a hindsight type of articulation, right, Michelle? 
Right, right. It's like, oh, I I just had to do that. It's yes, there is the like, oh, I just had to buy that dress. It was so beautiful. Like I couldn't resist yeah, it. But I think this different. is more mm -hmm. expressing this like frustration, regret, hindsight, yeah. you know, hindsight. Yeah, the hindsight is 2020 concept, right? What was I thinking? Right? Why did yeah. I go and do that? Now there's this result. Right. My credit score right. is blown up because I just had to buy that car. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So if I'm saying instead of saying something like, oh, like my my tummy hurts, I shouldn't have had all those cookies. Like right. I, I instead I could say I just had to eat like I just had to do that. So this is just a way to do it with more a little bit more personality, more yeah. self-deprecating. It's, it's self-deprecating. Yeah. It's kind of like you're mocking yourself in a way. Yeah. Right. You're mocking your own decisions. That's right. the point. Yeah. Very right. high level. Very high level. Lindsay, do you, I mean, do you think that you ever use this? It's hard to sometimes like know if we use it. Right. That's a good question. Yeah, probably I would, or maybe I've just thought it. So I didn't use the words to articulate it. I'm trying to think of something, you know, I just had to go three weeks without cleaning my apartment and now it's a total mess. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I would use it. I just can't think of any exact examples. Michelle, is there something that you've regretted doing? that you've used this structure? <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm sure. And it probably does have to do with eating a lot of cookies. Um, it's eating, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, you know what? You know what? I'll say uh, like, okay, here's a time when you might use it, like staying up too late to watch a TV show. That's it. That's like, it. oh, like I just had to stay up and watch that last episode. And I just had to stay up and binge watch three episodes. And now like I got four hours of sleep, right? Exactly. Like, so that's exactly. that like immediate yeah. kind of regret or frustration with yourself. Yeah, I just had to stay up on Friday night. And this is true. And watch, I saw Arachnophobia was available on Netflix, and it's a movie from my from the eighties. I used to watch it a bunch <laughs> as a kid. So I just had to finish the movie. I had to stay up and finish the movie. And then, of course, you feel the spiders all over you as you're watching the movie. Oh, oh this just, sounds oh. like a terrible movie. <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> that was terrible. So. Um, but yeah, but exactly. But in a way, it is still like we were saying, oh, it's not so much about that you couldn't resist, but it resists something. But it actually, that's packed into it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't resist it. And now I regret it. And, yeah, yeah. Right. I, I'm yeah. not telling you like, oh, Lindsay, I just I had to watch that movie. Like, I couldn't resist it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm using it in this way of I couldn't resist it. And now, and now, and now I there's a result. Yeah. Now you're great. And I think this is perfect for talking about overindulgences in terms of food, like you said, Michelle, but not just cookies, not just snacks, usually like a, a second helping of dessert. Right. Or, you know, guys, we're in the holiday season right now. So we're all making these mistakes. <laughs> right? We're going to the dinner or the Thanksgiving dinner. We put on the turkey pants after because we just had to have that second piece of pumpkin pie. Right. right. And now I'm wearing my turkey pants and I, I feel sick. Right? Uh, <laughs> right. Exactly. I mean, I think it could also be useful. I mean, I think talking to a friend is the most normal, you know, like natural way to use it. Yeah. Um, you might be able to express certain feelings. Um, like to a coworker, maybe. maybe. Um, oh yeah, mm -hmm. I just like I just had to, you know, work on that presentation for four hours, and now I didn't eat lunch or something like that. Um, yeah. Well, so I you can, it, but I think it's kind of casual. Well, sorry, it's Lindsay, what were you casual. Well, I was just gonna say I think we might also use this when we choose to cut corners, right? If we choose mm -hmm. to do something the easy way, like I just yeah. had to, I don't know, like uh have someone else write my paper for me and now i've gotten an f like i had to avoid doing it myself or something yeah. like that where we try to take the easy way out at the beginning mm. and then it ends up being a big problem backfires. a bigger issue yeah backfires yeah yeah, yeah. yep uh so. right i think that's definitely good um i mean i I mean, let's talk about this. Like, I think, like I said, I think it's casual, but I think, you know, in formal situations, it could be used as a sort of a source of humor. But in general, I think it's funny. I think it's more interesting yeah. and a more humorous way of saying, why did I do this? So I agree. Yeah. Lindsay, let's do some role plays. Okay. I know our listeners love the role play. Mm -hmm. So here they are, guys. Oh, I'm so tired. Here we go. You had to stay up all night watching Netflix. Now, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the example that I gave, which I didn't realize I had <laughs> written that. But now, so this is what I want to talk about using it on other people. 
Now, yes. so now I'm, I'm, I'm saying it about you. So we've mostly been talking about using it for self-deprecation. Now, what do you think in this way? Is it like funny, yeah. offensive? Does it teach a lesson? What do you think? I think if it's clo if you're close to someone and you can tease them like a partner or a very close friend, oh, you just had to, oh, you skip sleep and stay up and you just had to hit continue on the Netflix thing, right? Next playing next, next, next. You just had to do that. And now look how you feel Saturday morning. You feel awful, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. If it's someone, you know, really well and not okay. If it's someone you don't know so well. Right. But even if you know them really well, I think there could be it yeah. could be like frustrating almost even more like if you like then it almost i don't know it it, it really depends it mm -hmm. depends are you actually using it to tease like are you actually yeah. using it like are you really using it in a light-hearted way or is this some part of you that is like like feels, uh, feels a little annoyed about this like feels you know like great now you're tired and now our day is ruined you know like oh yeah so like okay. i think you have to think about your true intent and like as to whether or not you really want to use it well also i think the other person already knows that they made a mistake so to right. you're right. kind of rubbing it in when you're saying oh you just had to stay up and ruin our saturday right, right. They, they already feel bad enough for that so you know you're rubbing it in when you when you do that yeah Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's do another one. All right, here we go. Uh, wow, you have a lot of homework. I know. I had to enroll in science four this semester. Oh, gosh. Did you mean like yes, science that, level yeah. four? I assume that's what you meant. Or four science I think classes. I meant, so I think I meant four science classes. Oh, probably. okay. Okay. You did, okay. So yeah, we were a little confused with the notes, guys, but no problem. <laughs> Either way, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Saying the same thing, right? I'm challenged this year with my science. Right. right. So like, I like, again, you're using that about yourself now. So you can say whatever you want about, but you're expressing regret with that, with, with, with like, just with that structure, with that intonation, you are showing that you regret it. Yeah. And I think you're also so showing with something like this, when you've got, when you've bitten off more than you can chew, let's mm -hmm. just say that, you know, literally or metaphorically, you're kind of admitting that you're sort of an achiever. Right. I just had to enroll in 10 it's like science a humble classes. Brag. It's a humble brag. Like I just had to do it because I like to challenge myself. But, you know, so it's there's there's a lot that's coming out of this episode in terms of describing our personalities, guys, that native speakers yeah. do. But you're never going to find this in any textbook. That's for sure. Right, Michelle? Right. Oh, no, you are definitely not no. going to find this in a textbook. This is very, very unique, I think. Oh, I mean, yeah. other ways, like other other ways that you can say this and express this regret, like as we said, I mean, there's nothing wrong yeah. with saying this. It's just, a you know, like, yeah. for example, uh, so why did I like, why did I have to bake three cakes? Yes. <laughs> or eat 10 cookies, right? So perfect. That's one way, guys. Um, or the second way would be saying blank was so unnecessary. For example, four science classes this semester was so unnecessary. Mm -hmm. um, what else, exactly. Michelle? Any other examples? Yeah, those, those are the other two. Those are the two ways that I, I think that people also, any other that you can think of? No, I was just going to give that other sample sentence. So for example, binging on those shows on Netflix was oh, so one. unnecessary, right? Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is yeah. Great. So yeah, again, I think this is more self-deprecating. Totally uh, do you think this could connect you to someone? Uh, I think maybe if you've both made the mistake. <laughs> mm. You know, sometimes friends will sort of play off of each other and one person wants to stay up late and watch Netflix. They say, oh, let's open another bottle of wine and, you know, get the snacks out, get the donuts <laughs> and, and, and hit continue on that Netflix, right? That could bond you. Right. Oh, we had right. to watch that next Netflix episode, right? That's true. Saying we, right? We've talked about like mm -hmm. I and you, but like you can also use it for he, she, we, they yeah. have to, you know, like, but you know, it might just, uh, when you're using it on other people. So if it's not I and we and all right, then, you know, you have to consider it more. But if you use we, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. This makes me think of a time that uh, I was my my sister in law were going out. We were gonna have a family dinner, and we were all going out for pizza. My sister and I, law and I, met for lunch, and we said, "Oh well, we can't have pizza because we're gonna have pizza later tonight." Oh no! And we <laughs> instead we ordered each of us grilled cheese and tomato soup. Now, oh, that's very filling and good. And also, <laughs> but also, 
it's very pizza like. Like it's not pizza, but it's cheese, bread, tomato. Yeah. Oh, that's and, true. That's true. And we were like, and then we're eating it, and we're like, why did we just order like? <laughs> so, I mean, it's not pizza, but like the same, a similar idea. And so that would be a time where we could say like, oh, we just had to. And like, let's imagine we weren't. But like, if later we didn't want the pizza, we would just yeah. say, oh, we had to basically eat pizza for lunch. That's so funny. I never thought yeah. about that. That grilled cheese is a lot like pizza. It's true. It is. But did you eat the pizza? Did you show up to the I event? think I did. I think I did. But okay. yeah, but we, I still always laugh about that one. We just had this That's moment sweet. of like, I think we just ate. And we're eating some <laughs> different kind of pizza. I love that. Yeah, it's true, guys. So this, so was that a bonding moment? It sounds like that was kind yeah, of. Yeah, I think it's moment. still a joke. It's still yeah. a joke. Yeah. So this can be, and this would be the perfect opportunity to use that. We just had to order something that seemed just like pizza, right? That today's just like pizza. So yeah. guys use this as a way to bond, especially when you get in trouble along with someone else, right? You get yourself yeah. into trouble. Yeah. Overindulging. So that could be fun. That could mm -hmm. be fun. So guys, this is, a, this is a really, really fun one. Um, this is a super humorous, uh, expression way to, way to tease someone, tease yourself, be careful yeah. with it. Of course, as be we careful. said, as but always. yeah, yeah, Lindsay, any other any other thoughts before we head out? Yeah, guys, you know, our whole goal for you is looking for that connection moment, right? Connection, not perfection. Find the way to connect. Bringing out this kind of language when you have overindulged or you and someone else have overindulged, this is a great way to connect. So use it. Don't be afraid now to try it out. Right, Michelle? Awesome. Yeah, and go to allearsenglish.com slash fluency score to get your score and resources for your level. All right, sounds good, Michelle. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Bye.